Hello there, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace and welcome back to the final episode of Choosing Your First Handgun, Seven Things to Consider. This is the eighth episode and today we're talking about budget. When I talk about budget in terms of buying a handgun, whether it be your first or your last, generally it's never the last unless you're about to kick the bucket. Once you're buying guns, you're probably going to buy more than one. And all of these factors will play into your purchases, whether it's your first one, or your seventh one, or your twentieth one, okay? Let me preface this by saying, if it's going to be your carry gun, then your budget should include your gun, some practice ammunition, some range time, some carry ammunition, a holster, and a belt on which to put your holster, and I think it's hugely important, if you can, to take as many quality firearms instruction courses as you can. Now, you might not take thousands of dollars worth of them, or then again, you might. Okay? You might take one a year, or one every two years, or one every few months. It just depends on your budget and what you're willing to invest in the protection of your own life. Okay? So, remember, your budget is not just the gun. A lot of people think, oh, I've been saving up money, I've been saving up money, I finally have $700, and I'm going to buy a such and such a gun. Well, if you spend all the money that you have on the gun, then what are you going to do? You still have to buy the ammo, you still have to practice with it, you still need a way to strap it to your body, so consider those things. Now, if the gun is strictly for home defense, you don't need to worry about the budget, or the um, holster, and the belt, and all that sort of thing, but you still are going to need carry ammo, which what I mean is, like, defensive ammo, okay, hollow points. You're going to need that. You're also going to need practice ammo, and you're going to need to spend some time at the range to be proficient with that gun, even if it's just going to sit on your nightstand or in the glove box of your car, okay? So consider those things in your budget, and if you've been taking notes through the series and preparing for your first purchase, go ahead and write those line items down on your notes, okay? Uh, I'll put them again here. The gun, practice ammo, range time, defensive ammo or carry ammo, holster, and a belt on which to put the holster, and hopefully training courses, okay? I hope this series has been helpful for you. If you have any questions about this topic, or really any topic, feel free to comment below. If you like my series, please hit the like button, please subscribe to my channel, and if you would like to see something else in a mini-series like this, let me know in the comments, or you can comment on my Keeping the Peace Facebook. I would love to hear from you. I love interacting with all of my viewers, and this is just great fun. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next series. Bye.